Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, guys? Ego is in here, and today I am following the LGU SMG challenge. And uh, basically, what I need to do is use the Spectre, which is the gun of the week, or you could use another gun, which I think is the Caprice. And I haven't used any of these guns before. But um, yeah, to get an upload on their channel, you need to get a decent amount of kills. So that's like 25 plus kills. Um, I'm not going to tell you how many kills I get for this one until you see the end, because I don't like spoiling it. I think some people tell you what score they get because they got nothing else to say. So they're like, oh, fine, I just say, I just talk about the gameplay and tell you the kills that I get. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spoil it. I think it's better because you know it's a surprise. <laughs> Although it's not really a surprise because it's obviously not going to be higher than 50 kills. That would be amazing. I think Cenance has done that once. Anyway, um, yeah, get a decent amount of kills and make sure the commentary is entertaining. So I hope this commentary, I hope you find it entertaining. And um, if you do, like. Oh, over here, last time on the SMG challenge, I said to go prone when you get uh, when you when you get flashed or stunned, and you saw there that I did, and um, it gets me kills again. So you know, if you're not gonna, if you can't see anyone, you're gonna freeze up. You may as well go on prone. And the chances are they won't see you. But I didn't do my um, I didn't do my uh, theater mode trick where I show you from their perspective them not seeing me. But you, know, you can check my other other video on LGU if you want. Um, I've never actually used this gun before ever, so you know it is my first time. And I thought you know let's just see what it's like. And I actually like it better than the PM63, which was last week's gun on the LGU. Um, it is much better, especially with the silencer and rapid fire, so Warlord is definitely a must. Um, I'm also using Scavenger because with rapid fire you're going to run out of bullets a lot, so it's best to use Scavenger. I'd normally use Hardline, but what are you going to do? And it's part of the requirements as well for LGU to use Scavenger, unless you're going to die a lot, which I do die quite a bit, but. You know, if I didn't have scavenger, I think I'd run out of bullets much more. And um, look what happens when I go in here. You know, the napalm strike is outside, but when I walk inside, I get on fire. You know, it's it's quite mad. And this guy over here on the enemy team um, dies once, and then when he walks through it again, he doesn't die, which is a bit weird. I think they made it so you don't die when you walk through it the second time. So it like saves spawn trapping. Um, yeah, which I think is kind of silly because you know you could have got much more kills. I bet so many people have like been running through my napalm strikes and they don't die just because they've already died from it. And it is, it is just a really bad thing to have in the game, which I found out. So I think they should fix that. Um, I also have to talk about care packages and. Well, they're really annoying because in this game, some guy like throws down a care package and gets a chopper gunner from it. And well, put it this way, we don't actually win this game, which is really annoying. We're about to, but then they get a care package. They use the chopper gunner and they win. As you can see here, all my perks are none of them are pro actually, and that's because I don't actually use scavenger because well with an assault rifle and dual mags and stuff like that, you know, I, I don't really need scavenger. Um, I also use hardline, so this warlord here, I I don't really use it. Um, Slight of hand is for me, especially pro when you aim up faster, get the kill. And over here guys, this is where I start to get spawn trapped. So I'm like trying to throw up a flag, frag, or whatever it was, stun grenade and I get killed by an RCXD and then over here my subscriber who joins the game kills me which is it's brilliant you know they just come into a game midway and start killing you it is quite annoying but I, I can't help that and you can't you can't block people out from joining your games on your list at least you can't on PS3 anyway and then over here we get a host migration and I think some people from my team actually, I think they dropped out. I'm not sure why, because we're actually winning. Um, so that kind of sucks. 
and it causes us to lose the match. Pretty soon I'm going to be like showing my scoreboard and there's actually only three people on our team and we're not even doing team tactical so that is really bad. Um, guys, for those who are actually watching this on my channel, you know, I am, I'm not doing the average commentary. I am, you know, talking more about the gameplay this time because it is an SMG challenge for LGU. But usually I'd be talking about other stuff and, you know, I thought I'd have to switch it up a bit because, well, it is about the, the SMG. And there you go, my subscriber kills me again which is it's just devastating but yeah if you check out my channel I won't be talking so much about the gameplay I don't think I really ever do it's more about you know the commentary and who they are themselves every time I respawn I always like to throw up a stun grenade even though it doesn't actually hit anyone there you go revenge but yeah it doesn't actually hit anyone so there's actually no point this guy here I shoot down second chance I throw my stun and I get nothing so I think they must be dead but I didn't get any points so I jump down shoot this guy I thought that's the same guy it turns out the guy I shot beforehand just died in second chance which is why I get the the kill and over here we have the guy that gets the chopper gunner from a care package which is it is devastating because we were well, not now but we were winning and we could have easily won but host migration and that guy getting the care package. You know, I think they should take the care package out of the game. I personally never used the care package. I think I used to when I first got the game, but not anymore. I just prefer the napalm strike. And you have to wait for the care package to come down. And while the, all the, while you're waiting, you could be getting more kills. So, yeah, I, I just don't really like the care package. I think it's a cheap way out. Um, the game's wrapping up. It's 29 and. 15 I believe which is alright um, if you're gonna like this video you may as well subscribe to my channel ha 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 alright thanks for watching bye if you enjoyed this video please subscribe hey guys Ego's in here that commentary was done for a channel called LGU and it did get uploaded so kudos to me if you did watch this commentary all the way through then thank you so much because I know that the commentary was 7 minutes long I couldn't sit there and watch it unless it was really good but um, I promise you guys that my future commentaries will not be 7 minutes long, they'll be less around like 3 to 6, maybe 5 minutes, because I, I believe they're better like that. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.